Hey, what's up guys? Monkeyman126 here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a plastic generation lot that I bought with my Christmas money and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I just got it in and I decided to just peel off everything that was important. I pre-opened it and took out some of the newspaper. So, yeah, let's get into it. But first I gotta pause and go get uh, a pair of scissors. Okay, we're back and I got some scissors. So let's get into it. Packages, pieces. I'm not sure how much packing paper they put in here. Yeah, it's just a bunch of Chinese newspaper. It's pretty cool. It's the first time I've ever seen Chinese newspaper, to be honest with you. Let's put that up on the bed. These all out here. And let's just go by the, let's open up the smaller ones to start off. Let's see what we got in here. Launchers sealed in a bag. This is weird. Or it might be taped up, I'm not sure. There we go. Yeah, just a bunch of left and right launchers. Here's a left launcher. Another left launcher. Right spin, right spin, right spin. Another right spin. And here's a weird right spin where it has the mixed colors, apparently. And here's another right spin. Yep. Put those launchers to the side. Let's go into the second box. See the second bag, I guess you can call it. Okay, and open up, and here we have either spare parts or just bays. So I'm not completely familiar with all the Beyblade names, so forgive me. Um, so yeah, let's just start off. We got a hopper base. I'm gonna make the Einstein combo if I can. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. We got a Gasly ring. Looks pretty cool. Uh, we got ooh, Dragoon F ring, which is really interesting. Uh, next we have what the what is this? This looks like some kind of like fake layer base uh base thing looks weird uh here we have a salamander attack ring which i'm not sure if that's an actual plastic generation bay but it looks real uh looks like this might be a salamander sub ar since it's in the same sticker scheme uh here we have, I think this is Gasly's uh, base, which looks like an attack base, which would fit, fit shape, I guess. Uh, next we have, uh, let's see, let's take it apart if we can. Take off this bit chip thing. Anyway, looks like a Kid Dragoon, kind of. Like a weird metal sharp tip. I don't know. Looks interesting, though. Um, I'll try to take it apart. Uh, it's not not cooperating. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Here, I'll just um. I'll, I'll, I might. I want to get this unassembled so I can show off the parts. <clears throat> Which way does it go? So I don't. <sighs> this is being stubborn. I'm gonna pause for a moment. I'm gonna get it untightened. Okay, so whatever this is, it's not coming off. I'll, I'll deal with it later. Yeah, it's a bit chip protector and stuff. Not, nothing special. Uh, then we have a, a Dronzer S. Fully stock, it looks to be. Is it broken or? Okay, no, it's not broken. I've just never seen a Dronzer S like this. Yeah, let's take it apart if it lets us. Oh my god, it actually came off. Let's go. Okay. Separate the disc from the base. That's me. Come on. You can 
do it. Ah! Dang it. Power of scissor. Come on, pry it off. Come on, scissors. You can do it. Aha! We did it. Anyway, here's a Dronzer S attack ring. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put that bit chip protector on here. Oh, dang it, it doesn't fit. I guess it only fits on some of them. Here's that ring. I don't know the name of the ring, but... And here's the base. It has a attack mode and a... I don't know. It's supposed to be a sharp mode, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't look to stick out that much. Whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's just... Drawns your ass. Together. Here we go, full bay again. That's not it though. We have uh let's see. Guardian Trigger with its, its sub AR and its base. Plus we have what seems to be a uh, a spare trigger F base. Which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to get this kid Dragoon apart. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's not, it's not pushing. Yep, I guess we'll just put those off to the side for now. Let's get into the next bag, which I should be able to rip open with my hands. It's not stupid. Okay, I was able to rip it open with my hands. Okay, and... Is that gold for doing this? What? Oh my god. I, I didn't even remember. Okay, I forgot some of the veins that are in this lot. I mean, I... I've looked at pictures of it recently, but I'm a bit surprised with some of them still. Uh, let's get it open. Let's just go over these bays, I guess. Uh, let's start off with the most interesting one, which seems to be a. <laughs> A, dra a golden dragoon ass with a bit chip protector. Got like a, some kind of like weird golden disc. And, I mean, I guess it's stock. Sorry for dropping it. It's pretty cool. Freaking disc is almost bigger than the attack points. That's look at that. It's literally bigger than the attack points. Oh my God. Anyway, um, I got a griffin with the. Partially broke with a <laughs> with a basically broken um, sub attack uh, attack base, but it has the still has that one peg. Yeah, looks interesting. Should get them apart. Okay. Uh, then we have a kid seal, I think. Looks like it. Basic kid seal parts. Uh, next we have, oh my god, it's a wallboard. Look at that. Wallboard 1. That Baron Drive. Looks pretty cool. We might as well drop, jump into the next, uh, bulging thing, which is the Coral Coral Blue Wallboard. Which is, that's sick. Look at that. Ah, that's hot. Anyway, uh... Oh, wait, that attack ring from earlier is a, a spare Gasly attack ring, because it's on Gasly. Stupid. Anyway, yeah. Yep, the Gasly. Yeah, we basically have a full second Gasly in here. That's cool. Oh, sorry. There we go. Yep. Next, we have... Oh, is, that a, is that a spare Drigger S base and not a Drigger F? No, that's a Drigger F base. This is Drigger S. Here's your grass. Seems to be stock. Oh, look at that. Nice metal flat. Okay. Then we have a... A Seaboard 1. Which, honestly, Seaboard 2 was a big downgrade. Because look at this. We got a rubber... A rubber... Uh, a rubber semi-flat. It's like a defense tip. Aren't, I mean, I guess the ring wasn't a downgrade, but everything else was. I mean, maybe not the maybe not the weight ring, but jeez. Yeah, I guess we had it really good from Seaboard One. 
Uh, we got Galleon. This is interesting. I didn't even know they made a first gen Galleon. Yes, they did. It's pretty cool. It's got that sub AR. It lines up with the attack points sometimes. And then I don't even realize that there's a sub AR. <laughs> Here it is, but unaligned. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, let's. Ooh! Uriel. Which is prone to breaking because this gold plastic for some reason is more breakable. And they got that rubber bearing, I think. Is that a rubber bearing? It's supposed to be. Well, anyway. Uh, wait, let me spin it in my hand. Oh, it's stiff. Let me take it apart. I don't know. Holy crap, this weight disc is small. Anyway, uh, let me get it back together for y'all. And, eh, there we go. Guess that's it. For that one, anyway. And then we have a Dronzer F. Sadly, not Black Dronzer, but you know what? I'll live. I got, I got Zeta before Zeta. Her, uh, that one very Aries tip. I forgot what it was. How does, how does it swap? How, how do you swap this? I, it, you know what? I'll find out how to do that later. I'm not gonna deal with that now. I've already had enough whole setbacks for this video. Okay, next we have... I have no idea what this Beyblade is. I'm gonna be honest. But it looks like the it would break easily if I had played with it, but I'm still going to. It looks interesting. Uh, and then we got Monkey Beyblade. We got Galman. That, oh my god. It's like perfectly round. Ooh, I like that. Nice little tag ring. And oh, here's the base. Yep. Yeah, it's basically. Okay, this is really weird. We have a freaking Trigger F with a Trigger. I mean, Dronzer. And, ah! Going through all the freaking main protagonist base with the freaking Dragoon F base with special metallic stickers on it. It's weird. I'm, I'm gonna make a trigger half quick. I'm not sure if this is the right, uh, right weight disc, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You know what? Nope. Too stubborn. I'll deal with it later. Then, for some reason, we have a guy dragoon without the weight disc, but we got everything else. I wish I had the weight disc for this. I might have it. It just doesn't come with one. That's everything else. We have a uh, Dracil S. It's a butte. Look at that thing. Look at Dracil. So I got a worn out ball, but everything's still there. Happy, thankfully. Anyway, uh, we got Dracil F, I believe. That more shiny ball, but. Uh, the balls aren't in, in there! Oh! Balls aren't in there. There's no balls. Dang it. Ah, I'm gonna have to buy them, I guess. Or just live without it. And then we have uh Dragoon F. Yep. Yep, that's interesting. And then I believe we still have more Beyblades and stuff in here. There might be more launchers, I'm not sure. Let's pour it all out. Come um, out. Okay, let's, let's go over the Beyblade stuff first. There seems to be a lot of spare parts in here. Get up. What? Oh my god, wait. Okay, let's just open that up. Got a bunch of spare bit chips. I'm not gonna show them all off, but I'll show off the interesting ones. Oh! Oh, look at that. And the shiny Kaihi Tawari uh, bit chip. Focus. Thank you. Look at that. That's beauty. Oh my god! We got a shiny uh, Max one. Matt, focus. I won't focus. No, it's shiny Max. Uh, another random one. We got. Uh, is this the Gaia Dragoon weight disc? Does that look like it fits with it? 
matches up with all the points, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure. I'll find out later. Okay, we got a... A manga Tyson bit chip. It's really cool. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just point out the big thing in the room. We got a tripio. Liter literally just tripio. We got we got the flying the flying boy. And we got a bunch of the same weight disc, but I'm not sure if they're good or not. We'll find out later. Uh, what is this? This looks like it's from, from some kind of bit chip game or something. And there are a couple of them that are like that. We got a shiny, I got a shiny ray one. Nice. Shiny, shiny. Uh, we got more of the bit chip game ones. We got some weird special edition one that's like fully glossy. I got another one that kind of looks like a beat of galleon, but it's not. Probably. Uh, another random bit chip. Uh, what's that? I don't know. Another random bit chip game one. Bit chip game, bit chip game. I don't know. That looks weird. Yep, just more bit bit chips, spare bit chips. And then we got this weird special painted disc, which I think this is a Koro Koro disc, if I believe I am if I believe so. It just looks really cool actually. And then we're gonna this up. Okay, so let's let's just do a quick unboxing of Sniper. Re. I got that Max set up though. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, it was obviously open before. It just came with the box and the manual. Oh. Oh, the the stickers have been never. The stickers were never taken out. This thing's never been stickered. Okay then. I guess I'll do that later. And they got friggin' humongous launcher thing, which God knows what this belongs to. Did it? Does this turn on? How, how does this work? It has something on the screen. Yeah, that's just the default thing that's on the screen. I don't, I don't know how this works. Yeah, I don't know how this thing works. Is there, is there something I'm missing? Wait, let me try something. Oh, I found out how to do it. You go like that. You go. Wow. Okay, that, that keeps spinning on the inside. That feels weird. You know, I'll, it's just a trigger shooter. I'll I'll figure it out in my own time. I'm already wasting enough time. Let me got a bunch of rip cords. Got long rip cords, dragon whip rip cords, normal rip cords, rip cords galore. The plastic generation pre HMS rip cords are a must need. Some of them have like weird kanji on them. If that's the right term, or am I being racist? Probably the latter of the two. Oh well, yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below. Comment down below thoughts, ideas, suggestions. You will be links in the picture. Uh, if yeah. get in there. And you know what? Uh, if you like these, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And uh, I might do a CBT soon. So if you're any if, if you're in any chats with me, stay tuned. Or I might leave my Discord below so you can message me or just comment in the YouTube comments if YouTube actually allows comments this time. And uh, I guess that's peace out and uh, yeah, have a good day. Peace out. What I, I forgot my own catchphrases.